Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozulich's Get Strong at Tsuji. Today we got some more intermediate problems, starting with problem number 108. Black is looking to capture some of these stones. How does Black go about doing this? This is uh, what is called the Under the Stones Tsuji. So Black will play here intentionally attiring himself so that White will capture. And then Black plays this move to Atari these stones. This is the under the stone move. Moving on to problem number 110, Black is looking to capture these stones as well as save these three. How does Black go about doing that? Black's move is to go here because this takes a liberty off of this and now these white stones only have two whereas Black has three and even if White starts the capturing race here, Black can simply play here and Atari them. Moving on to problem number 111, Black is looking to kill all of these white stones in the corner. What is Black's move to do so? Black's move is to go here, and this will end up killing the group. White cannot play here because it would be self Atari, and even if White captures this, Black can cut here, and these stones only have one eye, and they will die. If black plays here instead, this will lead to a ko, because white will capture, and then when black plays here, the ko starts with this move, and again, we want to avoid ko wherever possible. Moving on to problem number 114, black is looking to capture these white stones in the corner. How does he do this? Black's move is to pull this stone out. Uh, if black does anything else, white will simply capture that stone and have two eyes. So black needs to play there himself. Uh, and when white captures, black needs to throw in a uh, move like here. Because even if white connects, uh, white will be dead. Or white will, uh, this will be an eye, white will have uh, no liberties after this. Or if black throws in the other way, it's a similar function where white only has one eye. If black, instead of extending, tries to go here and capture the stone, white will go here, and now black will win, the, or white will win this capturing ace. Black can't play here because shortage of liberties. So in order to take this liberty, black first needs to do this one, but then white has time to come back and capture these stones. Moving on to problem number 115, black is looking to capture these three white stones in the corner. How does he do this? Black's move is the clamp here, and even if white resists with a move like this, black will simply connect underneath. Uh, if white tries Utari, that's fine. Black still has too many liberties compared to white's, and uh, let's say even white tries to poke at this cut, black will simply tire these stones and be fine. Moving on to problem number 116, black is looking to capture these five white stones in the corner. How does black go about doing that? Black's move is to cut here, um, and if white tries to resist a little bit by pulling this stone out, black throws in, and this is a snapback. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like it. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. And if you're new around here, subscribe. I do videos like this every day. So again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.